Hey everybody, it's been a while since I did an update on my VR player controller, so I thought I'd share a few things that I've done recently. Um, last time I think all I showed was like the jumping, when you swing your arms up you can jump kind of like stride, and the climbing, or you know you can climb everything, like pop on. Um, that's pretty much where I left off, and also you know you can glide and get acceleration. Not much has been added to the movement. One big thing is um, crouching and sliding. So if you have any sort of velocity and you crouch and you then you crouch, you maintain that velocity and it disables friction. So it's pretty much like you're sliding on ice. It's pretty fun. And it also takes into account your um, the slope you're on. So if you're on a slope and you crouch, you'll start accelerating towards the floor normal. And yeah, that can lead to some pretty cool movement situations. Another thing is the platform movement. Last time I took out the platform movement because it was just parenting and unparenting. I really didn't like how that felt. Um, it kind of messed up the friction. So got that working with the normal velocities. And it's still a little weird. Like at the end of a reset, you can see that kind of bounces you back and that's just because you know your velocity is going that way um but it's not that bad it's not too noticeable another big one that i wanted to get working was the climbing on moving platforms so i finally got that working and i think this can be used for a lot of cool um game ideas or movement scenarios it also takes into account your velocity so you know you can just kind of hop along and Stay where you're at. Yeah, those are all working fairly nicely. And um, it's a lot of fun to play around with all the movement mechanics mixed. One other thing is I started working on kind of a base interaction system. That would make it kind of easy to create um, various interactions like weapons, just interactables, general interactables. So first we have like physics interactables, like all the joints should be working. It's a little wonky, but I just started working on the physics ones. So now you have uh, hinge joints, and you just have like normal rigid bodies. That tosses away. Then you have like kinematic bodies, and I made a little bow. And all of them have the option to be two-handed. You can control like which directions. So it makes it pretty easy to make these interactables. I think with the bow, I'll end up making some kind of um, movement mechanic out of it. Maybe you shoot a wall, yank your hand, and you launch towards that. I think that could be pretty cool. Um, the gliding, I, I've been trying to tweak to make feel as good as possible. It's hard to kind of mix all of them together, finding the right speeds. Um, just making sure everything flows nicely together. Oh, I didn't crouch in time. And sometimes you get some wonky launches. And yeah, that's about all for the movement stuff, you have the interactions and the um, the couple of movement fixes. But that's about all for now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.